Becoming the best you. It's important to know who you are in Christ, to live in your God-given uniqueness. If you don't know who you are in Christ, you become a product of your environment. Your potential is capped and your progress is constrained. From the very start, you knew all that I could be. You have always known me. You created me. You comprehend my heart. Formed my inward parts. Even in my darkest night, you shine your light. You can spend a lot of time trying to live up to a false expectation that is either placed on you by yourself or by others around you. Sometimes we don't fully connect with who we are. You are God's chosen. You are His child. He created you and has gifted you. You have His creativity in you. You are a gift to humanity. You are a history maker. So much more than you think you are. Certain gifts and abilities may be living dormant on the inside of you. Potential is not what you have done, but what you have the ability to do that you may not have discovered yet. It is you connecting with the next best version of yourself. It may not be what you have succeeded at, but it is what you could succeed at if you tapped into some of the things on the inside that have not yet been recognised or released. Sometimes it may even take some form of crisis for something to rise up on the inside that you didn't know was there. It's amazing what you are capable of in the midst of a crisis. It can give birth to potential on the inside of you that may have been laying dormant. Maybe in this time of floods, you rise up and realize that you can tap into resources that will help other people around you. Maybe to recover finances or give people hope in some other area that no one else knows how to access. causes us to change the course of our life to line up with God's plan and the gifting He has placed within us, we will never look back. At the moment, there is crisis after crisis going on in the world. Natural disasters, financial situations, human trafficking, wars and so much more. God is calling out His sons and daughters. Awakening potential. There is an innovator on the inside of you. Maybe there is a preacher on the inside of you, a worship leader, a problem solver, a leader. In the book of Jeremiah 1.5, God says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you, set you apart. 
I ordained you, appointed you a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah immediately felt inadequate and said, oh, I can't speak. God responded with, it is my words in your mouth, so don't disqualify yourself so quickly, but speak what I give you to say and refuse to fear. You are called by God. As you step into what He has for you, it will continue to unfold. If you don't know what your unique purpose is, start by asking Him, then accept it. He says, I have come that you would have life and that you would have it more abundantly. He wants you to become the best you that you can be. Taking up the challenge that